What's up, everyone? Welcome to tonight's team call with special guest, Jessica. What's your new last Hart. name? Hart. Jessica Hart. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Forget yes. Flores. She's a heart. How do you spell it? H-A-R-T. Oh, okay. So, hey, Priscilla. Welcome, everyone. So, Jess is in town, and we decided to do team call together. Um, even though she already told me she's, she's like, yeah, I'm not going to say much. I'm going to make her talk. I'm listening. <laughs> yes. But it has been awesome guys. You know, when I think about just the coaching, like what coaching has done for me, I mean, being able to make friends like this, we've literally been like hanging out all day. We've okay. never met in person, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, we just we we get along it. and it was just awesome. And so these are like the blessings of coaching guys. And I always say this, like every day you're not building a team, you're missing out on this because your coaches are going to be your closest friends. These are going to be the girls that are your, uh, your ride or dies. Like it's just, it's awesome. Your lifers, you know? Mm -hmm. So you want to definitely, you know, make that your focus to build a team. But anyways, um, so glad you guys are with us tonight. We're going to be talking about, what did we say? No. Hold on. We do have a topic tonight. We do have a topic. Oh, planning out our months. Oh, yeah. Planning out our months. So some of you um, are fairly new and some of you just need a refresher. So we're going to talk about that. But before we get into our call tonight, I did want to congratulate all the girls that killed it last month. Crystal's the only person on this phone right now, but we had um, also, I think Priscilla got one of her first customers or coaches. And you girls are just, you know, coming in, making moves, which is awesome. Jada just signed up her first coach. I know Melly signed up her first coach. So way to go, guys. Yes. Now just keep doing it. <laughs> do that and do it again and do it again. So um, I'm so happy for you girls. And, you know, this is just about sharing what you love. And why don't you sh tell everyone like what you were talking to Maria about? Like we were talking about like coming across salesy and you were just saying, I just said like to go across as these programs have changed your life and like it's a healthy shake and it's actually made a difference in your life. So instead of coming across salesy, like, Oh, I have to push a program or I have to push a shake. It's like, this is my progress and what it's done to me. And I kind of maybe come across like what it's done for you and what it can do for them. That's what I said. Yeah. And if people are like, um, Oh, that's too expensive or whatever. I was telling just like, they're just not your people. They aren't ready. I was just talking to the medical assistant at James job. Check this out guys. She bought a program from some Instagram girl for $600, six dollars hundred dollars and let me tell you what it looked like hold on because this was the program i don't know it was literally like a sheet and it had written like option one two eggs a, a cup of bacon you know like not a cup of bacon but like two eggs broccoli and four ounces of strawberries like it was written out on a pdf like no, beach body on demand has so much value it is insane when she told me that and then the workouts were the same thing it was a written document that said like four sets of six lunges you know or whatever six hundred dollars and that girl is selling them okay so you guys have to remember like that's what's out there that's what people are like marketing like that's what's going on on the gram what we offer is so much value like all of the recipes, everything from Beach Body on Demand, the shapes, like it's so good. So you guys need to like hold your head up high and lead with pride because we're just sharing what we love, right? So, um, okay, tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about how to plan out your months. Um, and maybe, I know Crystal said she was putting her baby to bed, but Crystal, maybe when you can, tell me when you're back on because I'd love to get your insight on this too. So guys, every single month, like what we do as coaches, it's simple. Like, honestly, I want everyone to write in the chat right now, like simple, the word simple. Like, I want you to write that out. It is simple. We are not doing uh, brain surgery here. We are not doing like having to solve equations. It is simple, simple, simple. Yes, it's simple, okay? 
Because all you have to do is the same thing over and over every single month and you will get the results from this business. I feel weird just because you're here, but I'm like, talking to you there. Should I talk to you? (laughs) Guys, it's simple. It's simple, but it's simple to do, but also simple not to do, right? And I got to lay it to you straight. The only reason you are not getting sales right now and you're not getting results from your coaching business is simply because you're not doing anything. You're not doing what it takes. The formula is given to us. And if you follow it, guys, it's simple. It can be done, but you got to follow that formula. So here's the thing. Every month is a brand new month. You get a a new clean slate. I kind of like that, that we start back on zero and you have an opportunity to like do it all over again, right? If you are constantly like announcing a group, announcing a group every single month, it doesn't give people something to look forward to. So I'm gonna, tonight I'm going to share with you how I break up my months and you can create your own schedule, guys. You can create your own schedule. You can create your own schedule. You can come up with your own routine, but it is this simple, guys. The very first week, and so you could do it like first or last of the month. The first week, especially after we ended the month, some of you were like fighting to hit success, so boom, now it's a new month. So for the first week, I personally like to like lay low. I like to just make it all about giving value. That first week, I'm gonna share recipes, I'm gonna give tips, I'm gonna be like, guys, let me show you these awesome products I bought. That whole week, I just wanna give, give, give. And these are real examples. Like, write these down. These are the kind of things. When I say, I don't just wanna tell you, like, add value, right? Because that's kind of like vague, like, add value. So, just give us some ideas. How do you add value to people? What does that mean? Just giving them, like, inspiration. Like, I feel like I like to do, like, recipes or, like, motivational speeches or, like, you know, just give them, like, that little push. Like, oh, I can do this too. And, like, like you said, recipes or products that can help them or ways to get motivated to work out or just tips and tricks and something like that. I feel like I like to do. Right. And even telling them, guys, this week, I'm going to be sharing a rest, a new recipe every, every, every day. Um, excuse me this week. I really want to make it about helping you. Why don't you comment below like things that you, you know, you can maybe get people involved, ask them things or you know what? It's kind of whenever you say, what would you like to see? That's a little like, I don't know, but if you give them two options, would you rather see recipes or beauty tips? Ask them those two and then see what they say. And then you can come back and say, okay, you guys voted. You said beauty tips. So I'm going to share with you my favorite thing I use for my lip. Aquaphor is blah, blah, blah. And you're just going to go, guys, and give value. You want to make sure that people walk away and say, dang, I learned something new from her. Okay. Yanni loves to give her motivation. She's getting her postpartum body back. So she's like preaching to the people. And I love it. That's like the stage right now that she's in. And she is like, guys, you know, I can have excuses, my baby, this or that. Find what it is that lights your soul on fire. I know for me and Jess, it's our recipes. We love being in the kitchen and stuff. And then like give it to people in a way that like, guys, I'm going to give you this value. Okay. And switch it up. It can't be the same thing every single month, guys. You have to be known for different things. So sometimes it could be, I've shared like um, laundry, like how I'm setting a new goal to do my laundry. Um, I'll share stuff. Like you've got to switch it up. If I go to your stories and it's the same thing every day, like it, it will become white noise. Okay. So the first week, That's a time where you can focus on building connections. So you post the recipe and then you can go, everyone who watched your story, just say, hey, did you make the recipe? Or you can just follow up with those people. If you do a poll, beauty or food, beauty or recipe, write all of the people that answered to both and just say, thanks for your feedback. How's you been this week? Okay, this is how you go building connections, guys. And trust me, the connection you build in February is not going to blossom in March. It may blossom in June, okay? But you have to be doing that. You have to be like having this conversation. So first week, this is also for your sanity too, guys. 
to where you're, you don't feel like you're pushing anything, right? Like you just, you're not pushing, like join my challenge. You're just like value, value, value. By the end of the week, you're going to, I like to do a teaser that on Monday, I'm going to announce my next accountability challenge. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Monday, I'm going to be announcing. So give some anticipation for what's to come. So you're, now we're into the second week. The second week, you gave value to her the whole first week. Now the second week, we're going to announce what we plan to do. Guys, there's a new program. This is what I'm going to do. My challenge, I'm calling it Fit for Summer. Join me. Here's what you get. And you do have to tell people what it includes. You can't just say, join my challenge. What's a challenge? Make sure you're telling people what it includes. And there's tons of tools and things already written out. If you need a, a special, like, who has a, you know, you could even Google, like, just images for certain programs and you will see things come up. So your second week, you're going to announce your challenge and you're going to give it a starting date. So let's look at, let's, let's do this right now all together. It is September 5th. This whole week, you should have been like share, showing up for your workouts, sharing value. Now we're going to go, you're going to say, oh my gosh, I can't wait guys. Monday is my new challenge and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay. Monday hits or Sunday hits. And you're going to say introducing the fit for summer challenge. This, you know, I want to work. This is, I'm super excited about this guys, because I'm going to be sharing my workouts, my meals. We start on now, this is up to you guys. Usually, you could do two weeks out. So you have two full weeks to pr promote. So if you announce your challenge group on the 9th, you can say, we start on the 23rd. Okay? That gives you all of the 9th, the week of the 16th, to, like, promote, promote, promote. I personally, I think that two weeks is a long time. I don't know, Crystal, or anyone that's like seasoned with your challenge groups. Um, Diana, maybe you can chime in on that. How long from the time you promote? I feel like it takes time, guys, because like right now you can announce like, who wants to join my challenge? And you're going to get crickets. But then you keep talking about it. And then someone messages you. So I feel it does take about two weeks. Would you guys agree, Crystal? What was the question? So about how long do you give, let's say it's the ninth and I'm going to say, join my fit for freedom. Hello. Did you dye your hair? You look amazing. Yes. Oh, I love I it. That. <laughs> look Thank <at> you. That. <laughs> um, okay. So you announce your challenge group the ninth. What day do you say we start this day? I usually give like two weeks. Okay. So the two weeks, right? And guys, so remember, it takes time. If you're like, oh, we start Thursday. It's like, wait, first of all, it takes a week for their program to get there. Yeah. So you want to give like the whole week to promote, talk another week to like seal the deal and close those deals. So then just because your challenge group starts on the 23rd doesn't mean that after the 23rd, like that's it. Now you're going to do a like, you can still plug in like, guys, we started on Monday, but it's not too late to join. You can still, you're going to hustle the rest of the month, okay? So 23rd comes around. We've officially kicked off. It gives you time to open your group and to maybe like start adding people there or, you know, whatever. It gives you time to do that. Now the 23rd comes and you have to be focused on sharing the business opportunity. Now we're trying different things, guys, and let me know in the comments below if you want to do this as a team. Do you feel like you still need some team support or do you feel like you want to do this on your own? Like, do you feel like you're ready to go out on your own? If you're ready to go out on your own, that just means that you'll either go live, you'll create a Facebook group, and we could next week we're going to talk about how to create your own sneak peeks, but diesel nation has a sneak peek that you could invite to every single month this has to be on your calendar guys if you're only announcing challenge and you're never promoting business opportunity you're gonna hit a wall in your business so let's say if i'm going with the same schedule my challenge now starts the 23rd and whatever i spent all of the 19th the 20th saying okay we start monday we start monday 
the 23rd comes around, I'm not talking about my challenge anymore. You know, yeah, I'll plug in like, oh, my girls are doing awesome, checking in on my challenge group, that kind of thing. But I'm no longer talking about my challenge. Now I'm talking about my team. And now I'm talking about how much I love coaching and what a blessing this is. Join me. For sneak peeks, I give one to two days. Right, Crystal? Like you say, you'll come in on a Tuesday. Join me Friday, guys. Friday I'm going live. You know, and then you have two, three days because they either want to do it or they don't. This isn't like, oh, all they got to do is join an information group. So they're either going to be available or not. Two days max. But you got to mention it. You got to say, join me Thursday. I'm going to be going live at 7 p.m. And you go live on Thursday and you do a one sneak peek, like a one day sneak peek. Write down, I'll just give you a little preview because we are gonna go more into depth about the sneak peek, but here is the formula for how to share the business opportunity. Are you girls ready? Okay, number one, you start off with your story. Your story and everything that you're gonna talk about coaching should not exceed 20 minutes. So you have to get all this in within 20 minutes. 70% of what you're going to share is your story. So if you've been scared about sharing the business opportunity, how many of you can share about how you discovered Beachbody, where you were at before you did, what is your life looking like now, and how has Beachbody like impacted your life? You guys can all do that, right? Yeah, you could feel, feel, feel pretty comfortable about that, right? So now you probably freak out like, okay, but how do I save the commission? I don't, what do we make? Okay, so 70% your story. Then you go into what do we do? How do we make money? And how do you join? And that is like 80, 90, 100. So 10, 10, 10. These are short. This is like a smidgen. It's going to be, okay, what do we do every month? We run monthly accountability groups. And I like to say accountability. We call them challenges. People don't know what that is. So say a monthly accountability challenge. Just throw that word in there because ch a challenge is, honestly means nothing. What the heck is a challenge? It could be a six-week shred challenge, a six-week fat loss challenge. But unless it's like a name, we, I, I feel like as coaches, we throw that around. Join my challenge. A challenge to do what? Join my water challenge. Join my get fit and get healthy challenge. Don't just say challenge. It means nothing. <laughs> so were you going to say something, Crystal? No? Okay. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah. It's like, join my challenge. Challenge? What do you mean? Yeah, people are like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we get caught up with like using buzzwords, you know, like, join my challenge. So we're not going to call it a challenge. You're going to count it an accountability challenge or, you know, whatever. You give it a name. Like, get healthy challenge, you know, something like that. So that's what we do. We run monthly accountability challenges and, um, you know, we use the tools. We partner with Beachbody that has amazing supplements and workouts. Again, we're going to go more into depth guys so that you guys can, um, you know, really know how to, how to do this. And then how do you describe, uh, so that's, what do we do? How do we make money? we make a 25% commission on everything that we sell. Eventually, in the beginning, most of your sales and the money that you make will come from retail. Eventually, you'll have an opportunity to build a team, and then you get to make like a bonus on what everyone underneath you and your team makes. And that's where the residual income, that's when you can make money even though you have a sale or not. And that's like the best part. That's how we make money, guys. Don't complicate it. Don't talk about team cycle bonus. Don't talk about right, left, left, left leg. Don't talk about emerald. Don't talk about diamonds. We make a 25% commission. That's how we make. Now, how do you get started today? Now, this part has to combine a little bit of your story with a little bit of an invitation. So you're going to say, so tonight I want to invite you to join my team. 
on Monday, I'm starting a new coach training with all the new girls that start, and I want you to be in it. So you're going to invite them to join. Here's how you do it. It costs $160 to sign up. You're going to get your shake, your beach body on demand. You're going to get, and you mentioned what they're going to get. For $160, you start your, you start your business today. It normally costs $40, but they waive that fee. So you get to start your business for the price of your products, guys. That's so amazing. So I hope that something I said to you tonight touched your heart and that it makes you want to be part of this amazing movement. I really hope you guys want to join my team and move forward with this. We start Monday, guys. So message me right now. Whoever's interested, comment below. Okay, that's how we do it, guys. <laughs> Who wants to join my team? <laughs> All right. So you share a little bit of that passion. You challenge them and you say, I really hope you want to do this with me. This is what I want. Does that hype you up, Jess? Mm -hmm. Do you think you could do that? Mm -hmm. Like, guys, I want like, to go, Crystal. No, I, I said I'm hyped. Right? You want to join my team? <laughs> like, I want uh, Priscilla. Priscilla wants to join my team. Guys, so, okay. That's the coaching opportunity. Boom. I ended my month. I gave value. I announced my challenge and I shared the coaching opportunity. Guys, if you complicate this business, it is on you. It is on you because it's that simple. If you have been a coach longer than six months and you have not done your own sneak peek or you have not gone live consistently with the business opportunity, your answer for why your business is not growing is right there. It's right there. But the good news is you get to flip it. Today, you're going to look at your calendar and you are going to tell yourself, no matter what, I will not end this month unless I go live sharing my story and inviting people to join my team. Unless I get in on the sneak peek that Christina's doing or, you know, we can do a sneak peek. I want to play around with doing the one on Instagram for all of our team. And then that way... On the 22nd, you, you guys can say, hey, join this page. Boss, babes, whatever, join this page. And Thursday, my coach is going to go live and talk about this. And I want you guys, I'll be there. So I hope you guys join me. Whatever. We're going to try that format. Should we try it this month? Yes. Okay. We're going to kick it off this month. And let's set a date. We should do, I usually do my coach things the last week. Okay. Are you on Instagram right now, Crystal? why no like your sneak peeks no i've been doing it on facebook let's try it on instagram i'm gonna start the page and we can aim to do the 26th no no, no. wednesday the 25th that's gonna be our goal day for the day we're doing sneak peek or i have a question bump that Instead of team call, we're doing sneak peek. The last month, we are inviting to the business as a team. And I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have, I consistently did sneak peeks. And for a while, I was like the only one bringing in people. You know, no one was like promoting them along with me. I would like to make a commitment that I'm going to start the Instagram page and that we're going to set a date every month because it, it changes. You know, we can't have that, the set date because life. But if you guys are committed to, to announcing a sneak peek every single month where we're sharing the business opportunity, I'm going to commit to doing this again for the team, for our team, okay? And we're going to try it for, on Instagram. Does everyone like that idea? Yes. <laughs> Diana says she wants to be on my team. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yes. Melly likes the idea. Hector likes the idea. We <laughs> Hector. Hector wants that idea. What do you think about people like going to a sneak peek and it not being you talking? Like, will they be like weird? Like, oh, I thought I was going to be like with you. Okay. Good question. So it's all how you guys hype it up. So what you're going to say is, listen, tonight, my team, the girl who got me in this business, She's going to be talking and sharing a little bit how I got started. Come listen to her. This is why I joined. And you hype up your coach. And you just say, oh, my gosh, you got to come hear my coach speak. 
this is how, how I got started with this. So come girl. And if anything, guys, it's, it's less cat. It's a little more casual, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, Oh, come here, my girl, yeah. rather than like, join me. Now we are going to be clipping your wings and you're not going to just be, you're going to go out on your own and you're going to decide, I'm not going to micromanage. Like you're going to decide like Crystal decided, like Elizabeth decided that you're, they're going to do their own sneak peeks and it's going to be up to you. I, I did do a, a few with my coach and then I said, bump that. Jess, I want people to see me as the leader, not Lily. So that's when I decided to join. But at first you hype up your coach. You say, oh my gosh, come here. This girl, do this with me. This is a girl I joined. You're going to do it with me, blah, blah, blah. But eventually, guys, you want people to fall in love with me or with you? Mm -hmm. you. So, so there you have it, guys. I, you know, I cannot stress enough how simple it is, but you have the formula for how to succeed in your months. And all you got to do is just do it consistently. If I could give you one secret today, it's that consistency is the secret. Like, just don't stop. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like working out. It's like working out. Your business works the same way. You're not going to get muscles the first week. But keep doing it. And in seven months, you're going to start to see a little bicep right there. <laughs> so, okay. Any questions about that, guys? What are some thoughts or, like, questions about organizing your month? Have you already started? Do you feel like, oh, my gosh, I haven't done anything. Where do I go now? Like, what are your questions? What are some thoughts you have? Lily, I have a, um, I'm creating a graphic to put up for a challenge group, but I'm kind of debating. I was going to start it on the 17th, but I'm debating whether to just hold off until the 1st and see if that's a better option since everybody will have access to them in 100 at that point. I don't know. What are your thoughts? No. You never, <laughs> yeah, you never delay. You never say, oh, this date will be better. Remember, guys, we're the ones that know, oh, there's access to MM100. They just want to work out. So yeah. it could be, you could put them on, like, I don't know, like an old school, pro like, it doesn't matter. The program honestly doesn't matter. They don't care who Jericho is. They don't care who, you know, it doesn't matter. You, it's your job to hype up, you know, whatever program. So no, I would not do that. I would say, join me now, get fit now. So you were going to wait till August 1st to announce your challenge? October, October 1st. October, sorry. <laughs> Unless you can figure out a way to go backwards then. <laughs> yeah, no, you have plenty of time, girl. The month just started. So you're going to announce your challenge like on Monday. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the post. I'm, I'm supposed to get my phase one results tomorrow, and then I'm going to put the post on Monday. Good. And the, and the, the girls, the girls will come to the yard. Um, yeah, you have plenty of time, girl. Do not, if you, you, you do not need, um, I mean, it takes 30 days to get like, to get your success club, to like get the people, but you should never like say like, oh, in a month I start my challenge. Like you only need about two weeks. Promote, 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 go hard. But do you see why it's important to like take that break then in the beginning? Because you're gonna be talking about it, you're gonna plug it in, you're gonna say last call, you're gonna like go, 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 go. And then for your own sanity, you just pull off. And you just say, look at this recipe, all oh, this makeup guys. And you just talk to your people without asking for anything. That has kept my joy in this business alive for four years because I pull out and I give and I entertain and I, you know, whatever. And I share. And then I come in hard. Now I'm hustling. Now I'm like, join me, join me, join me. Click on my poll, click on my poll. But can do that every day. can do that every day. A soft invite every few days, like need help getting started, something like that. It can't be like every single day. I mean, that's my opinion. That's my opinion.
So, um, all right, there's seven minutes remaining. Any other questions? So Yanni, that was my feedback for you. Who else is here? Who's iPhone? I just see iPhone. I see Candy. What's up, Candy? This time you're not next to Jada. You're away in college? Oh, look at you, big girl. <laughs> Priscilla, how's it going? I do want to shout out Priscilla. She came in. She's brand new, guys, and she's, like, doing awesome. Priscilla, you're doing awesome in your stories, for real. Thank you. I think I kind of jumped the gun on my water challenge. I think I should have just waited a little longer before I said it was like the first week. So actually, should I actually do it again this month or should I just let it kind of die out and try another challenge? Um, so what, you don't think you gave enough time to promote it? Yeah, because I think I was just like, I didn't give it enough time. Because now hearing I didn't give it like two weeks, I kind of give it a week and said I'm starting um, the first when maybe I should have started like two weeks in it of this month. Because I really didn't get anybody. So I was like, okay. So why don't you do, maybe water isn't what your audience is speaking. So do you need to give your audience two options? What do you feel you struggle more with? Getting in your workout or um like eating out too much if you got a bunch of people do eat out do a little challenge do like a three-day no eat out challenge i don't know but remember you need time to like add people to the group type them up guys we start monday and then monday you kick it off so okay. i would like announce something like on a wednesday thursday and you know give people all that time and say we kick off something like a no like a a fat, like a clean week, like that takes, like they got to prep, they got to go grocery shopping, that's yeah. time to promote. But you know, a simple challenge, like say, or you know what, Priscilla, why don't you do a, oh, I got a good idea for you. We're going to do a yoga pose another day. And then you're okay, gonna I can do that. And you're going to say, this is the challenge for this week. Just do it on your Instagram and say, comment below if you tried it or if you did it. Bonus if you take a picture. You know, I don't know. You can figure out. But do something like that. Okay. I'll try that. Do a yoga pose of the day and then say, you know, did you try it? Yes or no. Do something like that. And okay. you, can e you can even, like, give away something to, like, somebody who did it every day. Yeah, if you do okay. each move every day, I'm going to give you, think of something within your budget, $10 on Amazon, I'm going to give you, you know, this little lip balm, whatever it is. Okay, cool. I'm going to try that. Okay. So yeah, you know, we've been, doing you. The, we've been doing the water challenges and all that, but guys, times are changing and we do have to think like, what's, I don't know, we gotta put our minds together. Like what's more innovative? What's more like, you know, what could you do to still like bring people in, say, do this with me, that's free, that's fun. We really have to like put our minds together and think of maybe something outside of the, the typical, like do my water challenge or whatever. You could do like, like, uh cook like um cook dinner for night and you know pe you know you could do like have you know cook my food instead of eating out yeah. like a challenge like that like cook five out of the seven nights yeah man i don't know i don't like challenge people to be more intentional to not eat out so do this with me if you if you eat in and cook dinner for five nights out of the seven i'm gonna do a giveaway so yeah, we have to think of different things. Maybe water isn't it. Ask your audience, you know, but give them the option. Don't just say, what do you want to see? That never works. Unless you're like a huge influencer. Then people are like, oh. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not there yet. No, like sometimes we'll, you'll just don't post whatever. And then it's like, where'd you get that purse? Where's your thing from? We're like, they get a million questions. <laughs> <That girl>. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, what else, Jess, anything? I like that, I just wrote that down. Okay, <laughs> she likes it. She likes it, she really, really likes it. 
Anyways, Jess and I have had an awesome time. We, um, I have to post a lot. She went paddle boarding for the first time. Wow. Uh, we were out there just the sun was setting. It was so nice. And um, of course, I would love to do this with all of you girls. We've entertained the idea of doing like a team retreat, maybe going to my mom's in Texas. That would be fun. <laughs> but um, I am going to be announcing we are doing a diamond retreat in January, sometime early next year. So I'm going to give more details so that you girls can get on it so that <laughs> just you can be there. So, and everyone else. All right, guys, let's take a quick picture. We have less than a minute. Ready, come in for the pick. One, two, three. Wait, scoot over your chest. One, two, three. Just to the boomerang. I love it when you come and sing. All right, guys, happy Thursday. Have an awesome weekend. Have an awesome week. Bye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.